Okay, we're back. It's Rod Suchu. I just had a weird hand signal here, but that's okay. <laughs> anyway, Rod Suchu back in Essex in our studio. Uh, we're working on the project Kenilworth, uh, uh, room service at Kenilworth with Man of War, the very famous horse. Let me go through the project real quick and give you an update on it. Or If you haven't been here before, uh, the, in 1920, Man of War became the most famous horse in the world. And uh, that was at a race which became known as the race of the century, uh, where Man of War was uh, in a challenge race that was uh, just Man of War and Sir Barton, uh, Sir Barton being the very first triple crown winner. And Man of War uh, uh, blew the race away. It was, I think he was 17 lengths. Um, but there was a third horse in there also. They always, in Canada at the time, back in the 20s, there was not as such a thing as a challenge race they, they it, it wasn't allowed so they actually had to put a third horse in if you ever watch the video and there is a video online right now that gives you a real short uh, uh, maybe a 10 seconds of the of the race anyway you'll actually see uh, I, I hate the word nag but you'll see the horse that they threw in the back they knew the horse couldn't challenge any of them but anyway man of war uh, and because it was Windsor it was the the top race uh or the top sporting event in windsor for, for the, our entire history as a matter of fact that uh that day of the race they had over thirty-five thousand people attend uh the city wasn't even that large at that point and uh the uh the stables that man of war was housed in for that race were there only till i mean only till about 10 years ago uh um one of our local guys here, uh, developers, actually tore it down and made, made Kenilworth, uh, uh, Kenilworth subdivision. So if you go to Devonshire Mall and you cross the tracks at Howard, uh, you would see there were, used to be uh, two great big huge cement, old, old cement columns there. And that was actually the main gate to uh, Kenilworth. And uh, if you went down, you turned right on, the, <laughs> I lost the road again. Bob's not here to help me either, but... But if you, right on the corner there, there was a riding staple there for years and years and years. And when we were teenagers and, and probably right into the 20s, we would go riding that we'd rent horses. And in that stable was uh, the third stall to the right was Man of War's stall. So uh, this is what I'm actually portraying in the painting. Kenilworth uh, Race Park uh, was there and the, that stable was there. And what I've done is I'm actually showing you Man of War in the stable, uh, his stall, the uh, day before the race. And his, his groomer, Will Harbett, is actually bringing him two buckets of oats to get his energy up and ready and all, get him all rare and caring for the race. Anyway, the last time you saw it, it was the horse's face was pretty blank. Uh, I've done some work on it. Uh, it's not too far off from finished. I, I, there's not because of the actual light, the way the light is hitting the horse. Uh, if I actually detail the front of the horse's face right now, it actually start to look phony. It, 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 I'm not even going to go there with that because well, maybe I will a little bit. Wherever there's strong light, you get a lot of strong detail, and also your eyes actually function uh, well through light. And not well through the lack of light. So when you see shadows, uh, you'll <laughs> the dog just ran through. <laughs> when you when you see something's in the shadows, like say you're looking at a building and there's a, a little shed in the back and there's a shadow in the back, it's hard for your eyes to actually focus on those details. So for me to actually uh, know that function of our eye allows me to uh, give you a bit more realistic. Uh, looking portrait of the horse because if I was to start right now say if I was to start and do what 99% of the artists would do right now is start to try and brush stroke little hairs and stuff like that the fur of the horse uh, in a, sh a shaded face uh, to put too much detail will ruin it uh, in the side of the whole horse where you start to see the uh, the uh, that the side light, the, the strong ambient light, or the the, uh, the light coming through that back uh, door, that's where this becomes, to me, that bit of detail really, really is functional, really makes it look realistic. And not only that, it makes that horse's head come right off the canvas. 
And I think you might be seeing that. Uh, hopefully I see it. I don't know. Uh, let me just take a look and see what I, I uh, see I online. I was surprised. I had to look at it online and and it's like, oh my gosh, that just pops. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> so in, in, in here, there's actually, it's void of almost all detail, but it's a little too far the other way. Okay, so this is what we call value of, when I'm using value in, in my painting, you use value of color, you use the value of the amount of, of paint you're putting on, amount of detail, and in here, that neck does not look proper at all. So I'm actually going to add some highlights. No, I'm going to, I'm going to add, add mid-tones to the shadow, right? So this is a shadowed area, and I'm just going to add a bit of mid-tone to it. I think you're going to see that pop up the details pretty fast and also you'll see me making mistakes as I go here because these things are all guesswork as far as I'm concerned right at the moment. So Man of War does not have a black mane uh, in the pictures I've seen the mane usually looks black but what I'm going to do with Man of War in here is there's a backlight on his mane and because there's backlight on his mane we're going to actually start with a bright line going across the top, the top here if I can actually make Get some paint on it. What the heck did I just do? Get some paint on the brush. And hopefully I don't make a mistake here. But but I'm just going to show you the edge of his neck. His beautiful, powerful neck. And just that one detail alone is almost all I need for that for that mane. Because that's all you're going to see. It's almost like a halo, right? You know, you get the light or the silver lining on a cloud okay so the way the light is hitting his mane right now just shining through the edge just like you see right now he's got all horses have these little whiskers less than mine of course but but on, on here you'll actually see the light hitting under man of war's chin you see the little the, the, those strong whiskers that a horse has not very pretty not very pretty you gotta shave for the day but So anyway, let's get some uh, get a bit of color going on in here. Um, the man of war's got a huge muscle muscular structure that happens. Um, I hope you can see this when I do it. I want a bit more color in here. You know what? And I, like a true Canadian, I will apologize in advance because I don't know if you're going to see what I'm doing on this part of the deck. I mean, if you see it live, you would, for sure. We're going to just get some get that, some of that rusty color. I'll find, find a knife of some sort here. It's not the one I usually use, but it's going to work. I'm going to get a monster brush here to do some work. Because I want it to be, whatever I do in here, I want it to be faint and soft. So I got this real big, faint, soft brush. Hey, you know what? Remember the other day, uh, Kelsey was asking about guides. <laughs> and I do use different tools. And uh, just for convenience, I could use my knife and I could draw the line here between Man of War's neck and the board. And it's just as easy to use a piece of tape. And we'll see how good the, the paint is stuck to the canvas this way. Our uh, equipment, if I'm too quiet, let me know. I'm trying to speak loud. Uh, we were using equipment and uh, it's en route. It should have been here this morning, but it's not. And I would have had a proper microphone on at that point, but now I don't. Because our equipment didn't arrive on time. Okay, so that's too much, but that's okay. I can always tone it down. Actually, it's, sometimes it's even better when I'm working in the, in the shade is to put the highlights and bring them down to where I want them. See, the only problem with not having any detail on the neck is that neck just looks like a flat piece of paint. I have to have some kind of 3D look to it. A 3D is not a proper term, is it? 
surprising how orange that actually looks, and then when you get it on there and rub it in, it actually kind of gives it a chestnut. Yeah, it's color. yeah. Well, it's like it's got like a red in it. And it's actually blending the paint by using the background color. That's all. The background color is it's just like mixing paint, but you're actually just using the paint that's there to change the color of what you're working with. working there is a line here that I'm working from again I don't I'm sure you don't see that I'll get a, I'll get a whole whack of color yeah, you kind of see it can you yeah this you one do. Here. The darker, yeah, it's got a bit of a shine line up top yeah it's got yeah. a bit of a shine too definitely you see it so yeah so we're excited because we're excited about stuff and we're nervous about stuff because of Ron stock coming up. Uh, this Man of War piece, this is in celebration of the 100th year of Man of War retiring. Not the last race, the last race was 1920, that would have been last year, we kind of missed that. But um, this year is his formal retirement happened in, two, in uh, 1921. And therefore, we're gonna we're celebrating his retirement with this painting, and it's such a celebration that you're gonna get it for free with all of our framing packages this year. We're also actually I noticed our advertisement. Maybe we could do this. Is we you know everybody advertises you know five thousand dollars worth of prizes yada 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 right? Well, <laughs> what we haven't done is exact you know we got to boast about how much we're giving away. Rodstock is. In gift, gift wise and prizes and, and everything, I think it's by far our, for giving stuff away as far as uh, yeah. Yeah. prizes, right? Mm -hmm. So we got, uh, th uh, there's going to be five prizes. We got uh, Rod Stock goes from Monday, it goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, instead of just Saturday and Sunday. And uh, every day we're going to give away a beautiful piece of art. And, and I'm I messed up and Colleen just whacked the hell out of me the other day, like right up the side of the head because of what I felt she didn't do that. But anyway, what I, I did mention in here, and I hope it uh, didn't throw anybody off, but the, the prizes are actually come with a $75 framing coupon, but they are all the high end, our very high end celebrity pieces. We've chosen five of our best celebrity signed pieces. Limited edition. Limited edition, yeah, they're all limited edition. And what you do is you get a limited edition print, you get a $75 certificate towards the um, the uh, the framing of the piece. And then on Saturday, we have an unbelievable uh, gift or prize, which is, it's a second market Avro Arrow signed by Jan Zurichowski. Jan is the test pilot that actually flew the first 18 flights of the, the our famous Canadian airplane, the Avro Arrow. Uh, Jan, some uh, a lot of people don't realize, but uh, Jan, <laughs> well, he was the first time you're ever going to hear it. I asked him one time when he got his pilot's license, and he just kind of grinned at me. So <laughs> I found out by accident that Jan Zarkowski, our famous, most famous aviator, never had a pilot's license. <laughs> but uh, officially, yeah. officially, yeah, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. The paperwork. Yeah, because <laughs> he was known. He wasn't known as a test pilot back then. He was an in-flight engineer. Uh, he he would engineer, or he was a flight engineer, so he would fly the airplane and tell them what they had to change in the airplane. That's how they did it before computers were out there to establish flight dynamics. Anyway, we're getting way off course here. So there's a, on Saturday at 2 o'clock, I think that we had mentioned. Yeah, I think it was 2 o'clock. We're going to start 2 to 3 o'clock, I think, on Saturday. 1 to 2. 1 to 2 o'clock. <laughs> 1 to 2 o'clock. We're going to be going through and we're going to give away six pieces of art. And we're going to give away a sting piece. We're going to give it with a $75 certificate. Uh, the metamorphosis. We're going to give away a House of Rising Sun. We're going to give away a Blues Brothers piece. And we're going to give away a sting piece, right? All signed by, you know, Sting, uh, sting Eric Burden. Oh, did I just Jane Goodall? I think I did. No, I think Okay, I Jane Goodall, David Suzuki. And then on Saturday, this beautiful framed 
piece, which is going to be the Avo Arrow. And can I mention how they win these? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and I'll get a little paper. And, 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 sure, and I'll sure, mention sure. how they win these. By coming, uh, we're going to be having a kind of like Zoom. We might it might be Zoom, but we're going to do you know like a like a webinar where everybody can join and we can all kind of have a little party every day for about an hour each day through that week. Now normally our Ron stock, we, I, most people know, we have our normal Ron stock two days, Saturday and Sunday, it's always Father's Day weekend. And we've had up to thousands of people here, but we can't do that with this COVID. So we're gonna have to do an online something. So this is how we're doing it through our, um, doing a webinar. So we'll all get together on Zoom, hopefully, Everybody that joins each day, so if you join, say, when we're starting in on Monday, if you join Monday, at the end of that day, your all those names go into a, Kelsey's got all of this done on the computer, it's all somehow random, this program that sets it up, <coughs> they will take your, it will take your name and then spit out a winner for that particular one on Monday. For that piece for that day. Yeah. yeah, for that piece for that day. It will happen like that all through the week. Then at the end of the week, whoever was there for the whole week, their names get put into, is, am I right, Kelsey? Yep. Yep, okay. For the no, whole week. for the whole week. Yes, if you joined us each day for the whole week, your oh, name okay. goes into a draw for the grand prize. Yes. So let me get this. They have to be there for every day. They have to show up every day. Only for the grand prize. For the grand prize. prize. Okay, so even if they were there for two minutes or exactly. five minutes or whatever. Exactly. Okay. Their name show, uh, yeah. yeah, no, I know we want them there for long. Yeah, no, but that's, that's how it works. Like the longer, hey. the, yeah, if we get them here, if they are, if they somehow join all week long, they'll, those names get put into a a hat for the group. I'm going to say hat because I, that's all I know. It's a, a computer hat <laughs> <laughs> for the grand prize, and that name will be put out. Then on Saturday, that's when we will announce all the winners for all of these prizes. Right. But right. then each day, Kelsey's also going to have a door prize yeah. each day, yeah. and it will be a contest that will e email out to you, and you, you know, somehow come up with the answers to this, the contest that she has each day, and one person will get a door prize also yeah. each day. And that one will announce the following day? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. So that, that, that's a lot of prizes. Yeah. So each day there's going to be a main prize. The end of the week there's going to be a grand prize. Then also each day there's also definitely going to be a door prize. That will be a, a mini of your choice that, that, that they can... Yeah. They can choose. So, um, Am I leaving anything out? Actually, the email uh, quiz, if you answer all five questions correctly, you get a $50 gift certificate. So it's not just one prize oh. necessarily a day, it's just whoever gets all five questions right. So oh. it's not saying these questions are very easy, but a lot of the information is on the website. So if you're really um, committed to winning the $50 gift certificate, it's a, place, a great place to go to get that kind of information from. So let me get this straight, then each day someone can get not only a $50 gift certificate, they can also get that door prize for the day too. Yes, and okay, the door ahead. prize, that's and the... These are, you got, uh, she's, Colleen's getting two put together here, I think. Yeah. Kelsey will explain. Oh, <laughs> the door prize is um, the mini prints that Colleen did mention earlier. And those are actually given away during the webinar, so it's just all the more reason to be in attendance during the webinar. And how you win that is we're going to be showing some photos of previous Ron stocks. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. I know we have like four different games. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're going to be showing some pictures of previous Ron stocks, and if you um, can spot yourself in the picture, you let us know, and you can come by and pick up your free mini. So the first person that. And now it calls me or call, yeah. you know, calls the us first person. even during this webinar or, or says it on the webinar. Yes. The first person that hollers out, that's me there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's 
Exactly. Yeah. This is not a webinar. It's, it's a Ron style. Yeah. I'm yeah. John Smith. That's me in that picture. Yeah. Then John, that person gets to come in and pick out a mini of their choice. So lots of prizes. And okay, we're in trouble. I'm going to get that phone. No, I'm not, because it's a telemarketer. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I just had a problem here. <laughs> My canvas dropped. Just be patient with me for a second. Oh, I will. Would you like some help? No, I'm good. Okay. All right. So that's that. Now, this particular print, let's talk about this one. Um, yeah, just you okay, down. Ron? Well, yeah, you're talking. You, Am I going too fast? Able, yeah, just slow it down and make sure they got all the details. Right. Okay. If anybody's got any questions, they know, you know you can just give me a buzz. I, You know how much I like to talk. Just give uh. me a... <laughs> <laughs> uh. Just give me a call here. I'll yeah, explain yeah. it. If you, don't, yeah. if, you know, if you don't understand anything, I'll give you the whole run. Yeah. yeah. I'll let you know. So there's that neck looks a little bit better now. I think. Or maybe, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong if I'm wrong, guys. Yeah. Go ahead. So <laughs> what, what were we talking Oh, yeah. So there, and in the Ron, or because of Ron stock this year, we can't give away a free print just over a counter because you can't be here, right? So we've actually developed and, and we've developed uh, four different, uh, four different, or I'm sorry, the, yeah, we, we got artist proof packages and frames and we, we came up with this like we normally do as we come up with, or recently has come up with a, a unique custom frame that you can only get through us at Suit You Art. And, uh, and anybody that frames a piece, We'll get maybe Colleen will grab sure. that, but but she'll show you what's going to be involved with the framing on these pieces, and up until the closing time at Ron Stark, which would be like four o'clock, I believe, on Saturday or four or five or whatever it is, uh, you have the chance to buy uh, these pieces at incredible discount, incredible discounts on the because the print's free for you, so it's a hundred twenty-five dollar print. And uh, like we always do at Ronstock, give you the print, but this time we get, we have to have some kind of stipulation. So, you know, you frame it, you get the print for free. So, Pauline, Here's, tell them what it is. If you recall this one, when we did this particular piece, am I okay, Kelsey? Yep. Mm -hmm. That we had the frame, which is uh, custom made by us, and we had the higher marker stat stamp. This time we're going to have this frame, which... I think we'll go beautifully with these colors. <laughs> I'm gonna slide See that out frame. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna go wonderful with these colors. Go ahead, Ron. No, I was gonna get a coffee. Going okay. <laughs> 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 and this will be the Kenilworth uh, stamp right here, Kenilworth uh, Park. It's gonna say Windsor, Ontario. And then this right here, I actually have a reproduction very high quality reproduction of the actual ticket for that race and it was here in Windsor it was October 12th 1920 so that's going to go in your frame right there and then of course you'll have the man of war picture now this is this can be one of the signed in numbers um, for 345 um, you'll get the ticket up and up until Ronstock. Then the artist proofs, we will have, we uh, have those. The, you'll get the ticket here. You'll get an artist proof. And they're regular uh, $1,070, but we're also, for Ronstock, you're gonna get it for 720 plus a remark. Plus it's a larger print. Yes, you're, I'm sorry, yes, it's a larger print. And Ron will be putting a free remark for you, which is a hand-drawn piece of art that we put in the bottom of your print. This time it is actually in. Uh, it, we do it in a little box. In the, the yeah. Well, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Kind of like if you looked at Hero's Garden. Yeah. 
we had we had our remarks done like that. Then what's really exciting is the printer's proofs, and they are going. There's only ten of them. Um, we've had we've had uh, many of them actually. They're going. They're getting down. So if you're interested in the printer's proof, uh, they're regular thirteen twenty. They're uh, right now our on stock special is nine seventy. Listen to what you get with this one. You get that frame, the uh, with the uh, Kenilworth stamp on it. You're going to get the uh, ticket that goes in the the uh, mat. You're going to get a free remark, which is a hand uh, drawn uh, p little painting. I call it in the bottom of your print, which really adds value to your print. It's a suit your original. Yeah, and. Sorry. I'm so excited about this part, and I'm going to be putting in a paintbrush that Ron is using. We now are up to four paintbrushes each time Actually, he paints. Actually, five today. Five today, okay. This is number oh, five. Oh, that's right, you're right. That is from yesterday. No, this is from today. This is today. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Ron. So we got, this is going to be this little paintbrush here, and these are really well-used paintbrushes. I just love so. them. They got care. You know, they're real, real stuff. Here, let me. And it gets, well, let's watch it. You got wet paint. And oh, you got it right on your hand. Hey, I did yeah, too. I've, I've been using it. <laughs> so, so it's important so that you know this. This paintbrush just did all of the highlighting that you're seeing on here. Okay, so, you know, it's, it's neat because every one of these episodes, we're trying to get it to the point where you understand you got a paintbrush in your press proof, but you also got to know that you can go to actually one of these videos. And you can actually maybe download it. I don't know if you can download a video, but or YouTube, or take a screenshot of it of me using the paintbrush on the actual painting. So mm -hmm. good so, provenance. Yeah. So that's I'm just so excited about the. So that's the printer's proofs. There's only ten of these. There'll be a paintbrush put in the frame of each one of these. So you will have an actual paintbrush of from Ron. That he used on this particular painting. My idea. No, <laughs> I just I don't care whose idea it is. It's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Never it's... been done before. No. So. No. No. It may never be done again. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. This horse's face is looking pretty good, even if I have to say so myself. Yeah. Kelsey, have you actually put out those packages yet or no? Yes, as of Friday. Oh, okay. Yep. So they, they will have these, so they kind of know what they're... Yes. Okay, perfect. Or I apologize, I sent it out on Wednesday. So okay. if you're on our newsletter list, you should have received it. Okay. And uh, I have yet to post about it on social media, but that will be next. Terrific. Thank you. Okay, so... And like I said, there they seem to be the ones that are going first and fast, so. Wow, I can't get over how realistic that is. <laughs> is it? Yes. It, it, you know, that I, little bit of the nose. The, oh. I, um, when I'm sitting here and I keep on saying to these guys, these guys, uh, <laughs> I, I have such trouble understanding what the painting looks like because I'm so close to it. When you get close to it, you're seeing brush mark. Everybody said, I know a lot of people go to the museum and they say, you know, hey, when you get close to it, it's a, it's a real mess almost like that. Mm -hmm. And then you walk back, even a Rembrandt or a Da Vinci or any one of those, if you get too close, you don't see what the painting is supposed to be. So just by backing up, it actually tightens up the details is what it's all about. No different than a high resolution shot of a camera. If you take it down smaller, it actually becomes sharper looking. Anyway, so every time I do this, I, I go back, I think it looks a lot, 10 times better than I when I'm up front with it. Although I, I just hope it looks that good when you guys see it. Ricky was just saying uh, that he um, was in that barn yeah. feeding the Correct. horses as a kid. He used to go in there and feed the horses. Yeah. I, there's a lot of people in Windsor that went there. I know that for a fact. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A lot of people watching us today are from Windsor, so yeah, they're yeah, all familiar. Yeah. Every little shape on Man of War's face has got to be portrayed in this. You know, uh, as human beings, we recognize human beings. 
right? <laughs> a horse would recognize a horse. And it's funny, I'm just getting to the point because I see these geese out at our place all the time. And I'm just starting to get to the point where I, you can actually see the details. You know, every Canadian goose looks identical until you start to realize that they're all, all different, just like humans. It's funny that, you know, we, you know, every animal seems to be able to pick out its mate, right? And, and we just see the identical thing, right? I, I just have so. to mention with this that the fact that I always kind of was blown away when Jane Goodall was so impressed with uh, Ron's piece that she had said she couldn't get over how well he did the chimpanzee flint. And, I mean, obviously she lived there and and uh, observed him and she said she just like she recognized right away who which chimpanzee that yeah. was yeah, she there? started to cry actually well she was pretty she was so yeah. impressed that yeah. he had caught his character jane yeah. was that's so nice that that's actually one of the, the literally the high point of my artistic life is that you wait you work on a project for 18 months and you're working you know and you don't there's one, one, one moment in time that counts, and that's when the person you portrayed and worked with for 18 months sees a painting for the first time. And that, that was amazing. We did that in Toronto at this beautiful mansion. It was the man who owns, uh, he's... Robert Chen. Robert Chen, he owns a huge plastic company. So anyway, when she saw it, it she did do that. And then all of a sudden she teared up, and as soon as she teared up, I teared up, and we were, the whole household, for some reason, yeah. we're, we were crying like babies for some reason, and it was, she said, I, I've, I've seen 30, oh boy, this is boasting, isn't it, I've seen 37 paint portraits of myself, and she said, I've never liked one, this one I'm in love with, so, anyway, we did a good job, but yeah, but she actually, Flint was so sweet, because, well, Flint died of a broken heart, and was a very precious animal for her. Yeah, yeah the story behind about. Flint is, is yeah, yeah. It's a little sad. It's a tearjerker. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that neck has got some real, real, real bulk to it now. Where is the beef? Anything else, Kelsey? <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah, so we're, we're working on, uh, they're working on a venue, and the thing that's been something we're working with for, for Ronstock is to make sure that it's easy, easy, easy for you guys. So uh, I don't, like, I know what I'm like, and, and when it comes to this thing where we're talking webinar and stuff, this is an event, this is Ronstock, and, and we, you know, we're uh, working feverishly to try and, like, I don't know how many, uh, uh, vehicles or what, what do we call these uh, formats or whatever zoom and platforms, platforms, platforms. yeah <laughs> yeah so we're going to get the best one we're going to get the easiest one and uh, then i will make sure that uh you have a real good way of getting at it and, and, and make it really really user friendly yeah. and so. enjoy the and, in, and enjoying in the party yeah, yeah. And, and if that works well i mean it, it allows us to even when times are open, it'll allow us to have little events that just happen. So once we know what we're doing there, we, we don't know all, all of everything, but I know one thing is Kelsey knows how to study. Uh, should we talk a little bit about what the webinars, webinars, what the webinars will be like? How they're more... I don't, I don't know what they are. Yeah, so go ahead, Kelsey. You take your time and tell them. Yeah, so they're about an hour long each day, and um, each one is structured similarly. I don't really like using the word structured because it's not supposed to be really formal. It's supposed to be more of like a relaxed, casual thing. Um, we're working on it, but we're hoping that you'll be able to join with your video camera and your audio if you wish to. And that'll let you um, see us and we can see you and actually engage in almost like a real life conversation. So that's what we're really aiming for. Um, but basically each session we will go through the answers to the email quiz that we had sent out earlier in the day. And a lot of the answers have some pretty cool and fun stories. So if you ever like to listen to Ron's stories, you'll definitely want to be there just for the entertainment. Um, <laughs> And uh, after that, we'll announce what is the free print that we're giving away for that day. 
for that webinar that you attended. So like we said, there's five different ones and they're all signed by celebrities, but we are gonna keep um, it up to us which one we're going to give away for that day. Um, I believe, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. So you never really know which one, so that's why it's a good idea to try and come to as many as you can. Um, so after that, Ron will give a little bit of a backstory about what that piece is all about. And then we'll do our picture game which is where we're going to show some different pictures from old Ron Stocks or former Ron Stocks. And if you see yourself, you give us a call or a comment in the chat and let us know. And whoever is first gets a mini print for that day. And that happens once a day, every day for the whole week. So. And those mini prints are anywhere from $130 to $180 or $190. Yeah. So and they don't look so many fun. when they're in a frame. They no, actually no, they're, look, they're beautiful. Pieces. Yeah. We just call them that because they're not yeah. the actual limited edition. Right. But yeah. Yeah. And um, pretty much after that, I'm trying to think now where we are in the webinar, talk a little about the grand prize each day. Um, there's also going to be, oh, I totally forgot to mention this at all, but there's going to be an auction during that week. I forgot oh, about that. Gone. There's just so much, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be updating you guys every day about how things are going with the auction, if we put new pieces up, or if certain pieces have sold, so forth and so on. So we're looking at about an hour each day for those things, but we will send out itineraries. If you can only um, be involved for like a couple minutes, you'll know what times to join at. Yeah, yeah, That's and, a good idea. yeah, and and the the bidding wall is important for us to uh, actually. Uh, Kelsey did slip up on that one a little bit. Okay. We don't announce day by day. At the end of the week, uh, we actually make phone calls. So no, this, you, this, you, this is a silent yeah. auction. This is, uh, you don't you don't uh, say who buys them. We don't tell no, 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 because so, it's so, no, it happens for yeah, the week. Yeah. 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 And, and we, until closing time on Saturday, uh, the auction will run right up. So, you know, and, and uh, the last, uh, the auctions that they run, uh, if you miss out, it's not up to us, okay? Because <laughs> the moment, if we go 4 o'clock on Saturday or 5 o'clock on Saturday, and you'll know at the time, the second that it hits, you know, 5 o'clock, it's out of, uh, out of our control, so if you missed it, and we've had a couple people complain about that, don't complain to us. If you miss, you miss, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to well, say. I've, I've been pretty, yeah. This one's been pretty good. I use a, a certain auction company. I've done it now, ooh, I'm going to say oh, probably five to six times yeah. we've had an auction. It started when we did the COVID thing. Yeah. And uh, So what I'm yeah, just basically I'm saying is that, that customer. They, it does happen that people miss out. You know, uh, hey, the the fun thing is though, and Pauline just had to leave to see a customer out here, but the uh, um, we're going to have hot dogs on Saturday. Are we actually? <laughs> well, yeah, we have. <laughs> you know, if we don't have uh, Bren, uh, Brenner's hot dogs, we get the jumbo hot. Everybody that's been to Ronstock knows there's hot dogs, there's chips, there's slushies and everything else so what I, I i i think it'd be just kind of fun maybe it's like maybe childish or whatever i don't know but but it'd be kind of fun everybody go out and buy yourself a pack of brenner's hot dogs yeah. for that day for saturday and saturday you know probably about 11 o'clock 11 30 12 maybe we're gonna have hot dogs yeah. <laughs> so if you don't have your own hot dogs you're out of luck mm -hmm. and uh Next year, I'll promise to give you free hot dogs, too. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely say, too, if you uh, are unable to attend the webinars throughout the week, Saturday is a really good day to get involved, because that's when we'll be announcing all the winners. Um, and it'll just be like a closing ceremony sort of thing. So, grand finale. Yeah. Okay, so let's work on the horse's mane. When you see this, this is uh, today is the last day I'm painting online. So um, next week, next Friday, I, we're going to have uh, the packages. We're going to actually be showing you the package. But next Friday is at, at noon. Oh, noon? Okay. So next Friday at noon, not this Friday because it's today. <laughs> no, next Friday we will have the formal unveiling of this painting. And, and I'm putting 
you've got the painting. You know what the painting looks like. It's going to still be worked on. Uh, like I, I want to have a few little bits and pieces that you don't see. And when you see the formal unveiling, it's going to be 100% complete. And you always know my paintings when they're 100% complete because they'll have my signature on the bottom. I'm sneaking somebody in so they can look at your painting. Wow, yeah, it's amazing. It's so nice. I just love it. I'm trying to describe it, but seeing it's two different things. He was saying that he really likes watching the YouTube videos. Oh, Because it really... Yeah, we really enjoyed it. Cool. It was excellent really gives you the, you know, a little more story, a little yeah. more detail. Yeah. YouTube yeah. channel is great for learning about the story. Yeah, even my kids were home and we watched it. We watched it all together, oh, so it was cool. great. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was cool. That was on the blue nose. He really liked it. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for coming back. See you later. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, so, I, and, and he just mentioned the, the videos. We actually have, a, I think, 104 videos online now. So <laughs> just in case you haven't it found the adventures of Ron online yeah. there. Uh, it's the, uh, it's, uh, I, I, even on your smart TV, you just go to, uh, go to YouTube and, and hit suit you and you'll see a ton of them pop up. So you get one or two people from Korea. Too, but that's okay. We'll let them. We'll let them share my name. You started it. Yeah, I started it. It's my my fault. This session's flying by. We have twenty minutes left. Yeah. So I'm I'm going to bring in some highlighting here. Uh, you know, I, 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 I'm going to actually, I'm going to back out of the, the view here for a minute because it's, it's my turn to look at the painting the way you look at it. And it gives me a, uh, it'll tell me what I'm missing here because I can't see what I'm missing up post. So just be a second here, I'll keep on talking, maybe, maybe not, we'll see. So it, yeah, actually that's looking pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is, <laughs> things are falling down around this. Um, I'm going to work on the ears and the mane, and I think I'm going to probably come close to calling this this horsey done. Mm -hmm. uh, this, I, backing up right now, I see over the left eye, his left eye, it's uh, the shading is not strong enough, so I'll get back at that part. But we're going to walk, work up in the top area if you want to try and get at it. Can sure. you get it? Yeah. Yeah. Above the ears? Or? Uh, right from the eyes. You keep the eyes in, the okay. eyes in up or whatever. Sure. And I got a special chair that lifts up, so I hope I'm not screwing your frame up. No, it's okay. So right off the bat, the uh, ears are p p p facing us, so uh, they will not be brown. They're going to be real dark where they need to be. So this is actually going to go quickly. Always reminds me. Every time I do something like this, it reminds me of Yoda. Because hmm. uh, whenever I do a Yoda sketch, and I do lots of them or the pieces, uh, the ears, his ears are just stretched out. Horse ears, is what they are. And the face is like my dog Toby. When you look at Toby, and you actually see Yoda. Yeah. That's so cute. I'm got a friend that has one. And it's name, the, the dog's name is Chewy, and he looked just like Chewbacca when he was a baby. These things happen fast. Actually, this entire ear is too light. What a handsome horse. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen better. I've seen, I've seen better lookers. I've seen better looking horses. Yeah, but he's, he's bold. And he's got a, he's got an attitude. I mean, you, you see his attitude right in his eyes. You know, mm -hmm. he's got a kind of a, a smirk to him. Oh, that eye, best. that eye looks terrible, actually. What? Why did somebody say something to me? I was no, going this, to. This bright, that? Oh no, it wasn't the bright. I just no. No, it's uh, right here. This eye is way too bright. Huh. Are you 
I can't get over what a difference a little touch of paint, a I little see. touch. The, 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 the finest touch, and I watched the portrait artist for Queen Elizabeth one time, oh. and I, I can't believe, you, when you got to have a queen, and she's sitting for him, and she'll sit for days at a time, because it, he's actually putting paint on, you don't see it happening, that's how fine those Wow. Are. And, and when it comes to the portrait work, yeah. if we didn't do it high speed online, you would never see what I was doing. Oh, that's a true. You know, the, the colors could be so subtle at that point. Well, I have a good compliment for you, because Aaron was just saying that his oldest daughter, who's 10, has been taking art lessons and now can't, and they actually all watched you oh, that's cool. do, the, uh, do the blue nose, oh. and he said that's it was so really cool. motivating for her, and he said she was just glued to that. Oh, that's nice. You know, like oh, watching. Wow. Yeah. You're going to have little Ron's running yeah. around. Yeah. <laughs> Easy, Skippy. <laughs> So this, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, this is where his head is not dark enough. So, it, and these things change the the forward and back. Like <laughs> the 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 3D, you got to bring things forward all the time. So every time I see something looks flat, then I got to work on it to make it not so flat. I'm actually borrowing paint from here to here. I borrow paint from here and I put it here. Sense. Yeah, but what kills me though is, I mean, you've obviously done it for so long because I, I would have sat there for three days to figure out that I need to put a little more paint in that area, you know? <laughs> well, I, that's why I back up. But, you know, uh, and just for people watching, is Colleen several times has walked in and, and it, in that, that's that instant impact that when you see something, if you've done a great painting, the instant a person looks at it, it wins. If you've done a bad painting, the instant that someone looks at it, it loses. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you can have something that's almost perfect and somebody's going to walk up and say something about it. I was going to say some dumb thing about it, but actually it's usually very, very intelligent. Well, i I got to say, I think you've kind of trained me. Like, first off, I don't mince words. So I kind of tell it like it is. I've always done that. But Actually, you, you've been forced to do that, too. You, and that's what yeah. I'm saying. You've kind of trained me to say if, if I see something that just, I don't sometimes even know, but I know something's not right. Right. I, I will say so. And these color changes I'm doing right now are so subtle, but they, if you, if you went, if you started at the beginning of the, the video and looked at the picture and then looked back, at the end of the video, you'd see a huge difference in what happened. I, I already see a huge difference. Yeah. When I walked in today, and I I couldn't get over the difference you had done just from yesterday. Yeah, well, it, that has been big today. This yeah. Month. And you know, it's funny, now I'm starting to actually, I can actually feel that, I'm going to call the fur on his face because mm -hmm. that, that's such a different hair on, on a horse's face com and their nose, yeah, their nose mm -hmm. compared to compared to their backs and their and, and, you know and I'm not around horses enough but you again yeah. have uh, when we've been around horses you've gotten me to go touch his nose like mm -hmm. Chris rub his nose <laughs> yeah and you can tell the difference of the of the hair on his nose it's just kind of soft and yeah. sort of fluffy and yeah stubbly yeah. They're right here on the nose. It's, yeah. always, it's always kissable. Yes, <laughs> it is. It's, it's soft. so soft and, and gentle. It yeah. is. You'll see people do that, walk up to a horse, and they always kiss them right there on the nose. Well, I remember I watched you when we were younger. <laughs> we were like in our 21 or something, and you Whoa. had that horse. That's like a century. Yeah, I know, I know. You had that, that horse that your, your dad had Sunshine, that horse? Yeah. yeah. I remember that. Because that was actually the first, no, it wasn't the first time I was no. around horses. But. Amazing. Wow, wow. Okay. So, let's That's work on the main. That's just getting prettier and prettier. Let's work on the main. So we start with the main, we start with the shadow of the main. Which is going to be right here. 
Oh, it's getting that Donald Trump look now. <laughs> Donna War. The comb over. Man of Trump. Yeah. Man, Man old Trump. <laughs> People must think you have COVID sometimes. Me? Yeah, the way you no, talk. it's called asthma. Yeah, and allergies this year, my yeah. goodness. Oh, yeah. Hey, I started the year and I didn't finish it. And that's a year, year ago. <laughs> that's what I thought you said. I started a year. <laughs> oh, I know. That's what I thought I said, too. <laughs> Threw myself off there. That's what I said. <laughs> that's good advice. <enough. laughs> <laughs> Here's a challenge for you guys. In Ontario, and I, they're, they're, we're working on a television show, so in Ontario, mm -hmm. and I, I want everybody to put their thinking caps on, what's the biggest celebrity we know that lives in Ontario, because of COVID, I can't cross the board, that, that is an actor, singer, songwriter, whatever, but also paints. Paints or sculpts. Paints. Let's paint. just stay with paints for a Okay, all right. With paints. And uh, challenge. And if you get the name, if you send me the name and we do it, then I'm going to make sure you got the number one print uh, signed and beautifully framed and yada, 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 right? So we need to know, in Ontario, who's the biggest celebrity that you know that is n not an artist, but but does loves to do art. Does it have to be only Ontario, or can it be all of Canada? Uh, I'm going to say Ontario for starter, because forty percent of people in Canada are in Ontario. And I will make sure there's a beautifully framed piece for the person that comes up with who. The first, but this got to be the first person. Yeah. Do you want me to neutral Canadian? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stop going. <laughs> what? Don't start working on it. Now. <laughs> we're, we're, we're online here. Stop. It's hard. It's a hard thing to Google because, like, you don't. <laughs> yeah. It is. Well, you don't want to get Canadian artists. Because that's usually the results instead exactly. of yeah. celebrities who it's have very, no, it. It's hard to know yeah. because that that's what it's all about is that, you know, Tony Bennett is one of the most famous because Tony Bennett's a singer, but he's also promoted his art for a long time. Mm -hmm. But there's a huge amount, like Gracie Slick is actually an artist. Ringo Starr is an artist. Paul McCartney is an artist. Leona Boyd is an artist. And she actually asked me to do, give her... Uh, art lessons one time, not knowing, she didn't know that we were in Windsor, she thought I was in L.A. at the time. Oh. She was a little surprised when she realized that she called Windsor. This horse is looking good. So the shadows of the rain, first all of the shadows deep down inside the mane. That's a, you know, it's a bit of a funny looking mane, I, I must say, that he really doesn't have, he's almost like buckwheat from, or alfalfa, yeah, cowlick. Man of War had a cowlick. Kelsey, do you know what a cowlick is? Yep. Okay. When a cow licks your hair and leaves a tuft up in the back. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. You know better than I do. I've never heard that one before. Where a cow licks your hair and leaves a tuft up in the back. That's cool. I think that's where the name came from. I, I, it must be right. That's, that's funny. If you're as literal as what I if, am. What if the horse bites you on the back? Then what do you know? Horse bite? Horse bite was too. Let's get some a steady stick. And are we in here, Kelsey? Um, let's see. Yes. 
What do you mean by are we? Are we are we actually zoomed in a little bit? Okay. Yes. Um, I can zoom in more though. Well, whatever. If I did zoom out momentarily. Just want to make sure people can see what I'm. Christian doing. Nicholson. Do you guys know who that is? Huh? Well. It's not a. It's a recommendation for a celebrity. Christian Nicholson. I, I don't know. No, we need. We need huge celebrities. <laughs> huge. Justin Trudeau. I don't know if he's a painter though. Well, <laughs> okay, so we could. I could name all kinds. I could <laughs> name John John Candy. Oh, he's dead. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Justin Trudeau's a painter. Is he? That's what she's saying. Oh, well, who didn't somebody say that? Kelsey said that. Oh, Kelsey said that. Kelsey oh, doesn't yeah. know who he is. Easy. Kelsey's a yeah, he, he's a hippie. Music artist or actors. Either or. Yeah, I didn't mean for you guys to go off that we're supposed to be actually doing an online thing. <laughs> Poor man of war. Somebody should have done his hair better. So, so let's stay on track, guys, and talk about this. Uh, so when does Ron suck? We're not that far away, are we? Or we're still a little ways away. What's the date that starts? So Fourteenth uh, of June, I think is. Yep. Until the nineteenth, so that's yeah. about two weeks away now. Okay. So beware! You're going to be. We're going to send you lots of stuff to make sure you don't miss out. Stock. Well, he's even got hair that, or mane that goes way up in here. Um, that's a good question, Ricky. He wants to know what the price is includes tax or if tax is added after. Tax is added after. Tax has got, I can't do anything about tax. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got to pay for this beautiful country of ours. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Of course, then you're going to hand it to Judo, and what's he going to do with it? Here I keep on looking back at the face too, just to throw everybody off. Here I got to go back to it for a second. That's what Colleen was saying about one little thing that changes everything. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Need a clean brush. Yeah. You gotta get a clean brush. Just do this, just for kicks. Bob Ross. Yeah. Yeah. My dedication to Bob Ross. Yeah. Whoops, way too much. Paul Anka. Huh? Paul Anka. Looks like Jacqueline Christie back there. Paul Anka. Is, he's actually an artist. Paul Anka. Paul Anka. I know somebody we met that is an artist. That's Canadian. Who's that? Ashley McIsaac. How do you know that? I just, just said it. What? Ashley lived in Windsor for a while. I don't know if he's still here. No, he's out Cape Breton now. Uh, are you sure of that? Yep. Because I know we got married and he. He got married in Halifax. But he lived in Windsor for a while. Okay. That's for sure. Right on Riverside Drive. Oh. Yeah. And he's a wild film. Ashley. He's, well, Ashley. He's wonderful person. <laughs> really, man. 
colorful. Oh, yeah, but you've never seen energy. Yeah. So we saw him. He, we met him in, uh, when we did the unveiling of the Blues Brothers in L.A. And he had a kilt on, and he does he's, he's, does rock and roll fiddle is what he does. That's cool. He's renowned for it. And uh, he, he danced along. He's got these great big boots on, almost like the old uh, cougar boots on. He's got socks rolled down, work socks rolled down, a kilt on. And he goes, he's doing his fiddle, and all of a sudden he jumps up and he spins around, and his kilt flies straight open yeah. like that, like a ballerina. <laughs> and he's got white boxer shorts on with, uh, with, oh, that's right. with red Canadian maple, Canadian leaves, maple on leaves on it. Canadian maple leaves on it. That's that was like, great. What the hell did I just That was fabulous, yeah. yeah. He did that in, yeah. He, he did that LA. right on, on, on a special. Yeah. That was in L.A. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, he is the energy. Not to mention, he's a fabulous, fabulous player. Oh, I didn't even think about that. They could be athletes. Yeah. Right? No, they could be anybody, any famous does, person. Oh, I'm sorry, Celtic, I should have said that. Celtic fusion stuff is oh, cool. fabulous. Wow. Stuff. Yeah, but it, it, and what the, the celebrity we're looking for, I, I shouldn't even say celebrity, let's just say famous person. It could be an astronaut, it could be a... Yeah, a politician. A politician, <laughs> anybody that people know, right? And leave me out of it because I'm the other part. Yeah. So anyway, this yeah we're doing this we're doing a TV pilot show and uh, and I won't mention who's looking at financing because you everybody will know them. You know, huge, huge, huge entrepreneur and uh, it's exciting, real exciting. Um, so. I, where are we at time-wise? It's actually Please. one o'clock. So what we'll do is next Friday you're going to come back here. You are going to come back here, whether you want to or not. And no, please come back and uh, in, invite all your friends that are uh, horse lovers and uh, I was going to say horse buffs, but some people don't like the name buff. But anyway, um, and uh, we'll be back here at twelve o'clock next Friday. We're going to do full unveiling. It might not be a full hour long, uh, so you know normally we go for about on that one maybe a half an hour because we don't want to uh, over overdo our welcome with you guys. But anyway, so uh, next right twelve o'clock full unveiling. We're going to be talking a little bit more about Ron Stock, and then after that we will be moving right into the Ron Stock stuff. So, okay, guys, we'll see you next Friday. Which is the date on that, please? Uh, next Friday. Let me just look it up oh, here. Sorry, uh... it is. June 5th. 5th. Wow. June 4th. 4th. Or is yeah, it June actually? 4th. I'm sorry, June 4th. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's just screw everybody up here. So, June 4th, next Friday at 12 o'clock noon. <laughs> we'll see you there for the, the formal unveiling of Kenil, uh, room service at Kenilworth with Man of War. See you later, guys. Bye bye.